so hello everyone this is Mahatma Himbin Amin and in today's video I am gonna talk about the multi-dimensional array because in the previous video of this everything of Java playlist I have showed you the process of using 1D array or one-dimensional array all right so as I had told you in that video that I am gonna talk about the multi-dimensional array like 2D 3D or something else uh so this is that video i hope you find it useful so let me simply start this video soon so this is my java file which is main.java first of all i need to create my public class and that will be public class name as earlier uh oops like this and this is my main method so if i want to recap the earlier video where i talked about the 1d array uh, it would be something like this whenever i want to create a one dimensional array i would declare like this first of all the data type of that array for example integer and a square bracket one square bracket means 1d array all right and the variable name i mean the array's name so let's say i'm gonna call it um, something like numbers equal to new int and here i have to provide the size like this or if i don't want to provide this size here explicitly i can use our curly braces and there i can simply provide the data java will automatically calculate the length of the array and it would assign the size into it all right so it was our uh, 1d array but as i want to show you the multi-dimensional array the first one i think i should talk about is the 2d array 2d array 2d array uh, sorry it would be something like this 2d array two-dimensional array so for example let's say i'm going to declare a 2d array let's say i'm uh, also going to use integer array so integer one square bracket for 1d array as i am going to declare 2d array so i have to use two square bracket and then i have to uh, provide the array's name let's say cubics cubics or something else equal to new int and here i have to provide the row and the column the first square bracket is for the row how many rows are there and the second square bracket are for the columns how many columns are there so for example let's say i'm gonna take two rows and two columns or two rows and three columns let me simply show you how it works as i have declared two rows and three columns it would be something like this two rows and three columns like this so you get the point right i can simply remove the 1d array part and now let's say uh, i'm gonna provide the value in a box so let me simply show you how the indexing works so here we call it the zero number row and this is the one number row all right zero number row and one number row I mean index and this column would be index 0 this column would be index 1 and this column would be index 2 so let's say I'm gonna assign value here so I have to calculate its address the addressing starts from the row then column keep in mind all right it starts from row and then comes column so if I want to get the address of this cell the row would be 1 and the column would be one because this cell resides within the first i mean one number index of row and the one number index of column all right so let's say i'm gonna place an integer value let's say 50 and if i want to print that value obviously i can do that You see and let's say i'm simply gonna copy and paste it here and say 
uh, I want to get the value for one number row and zero number column and that would be this one number row zero number column this so I haven't assigned any value here till now so Java will automatically initiate it with value zero so it should print zero here let me simply run it you see it's printing zero but what if I want to access any value which is not available in that array let's say I'm gonna declare five number row and zero number column five number row is not available in my declared array because in my array I have only two rows not five rows so it should return array index out of boundary or something like that you see it has returned array index out of boundary exception I know this exception is new to you might be but don't worry I'm gonna talk about it when I uh, when I will teach you the exception part of Java so I'm simply gonna ignore that but I have simply taught you that what would happen if you want to access anything that is not declared in your array already all right so that's the thing and now let's say i want to print every element's value my current 2d array has so in 1d array what we used we used the two string method let me simply try whether that works here or not so system dot dot print element because i want to print something and i would call the arrays to string method and here if i pass the array name which is cubics here you see i'm getting some kind of uh, garbage value or you can say gibberish gibberish value or something like that why is that because we used the two string method for the 1d array we can't use it in 2d array or multi-dimensional array all right so in multi-dimensional array what we use we use the uh, arrays to sorry deep to string method all right and if i simply pass my cubics array here let me simply show you you see it's showing me all the values as usual it shows zero where i haven't initialized any value because if java gets that uh, in a variable there is no value it automatically generates the starting value for integer or double or float something like that it would generate zero as i have just told you in this playlist already all right so that's how it works now let me show you but if you don't want to declare the size explicitly like this but you want to declare the size and the value using the curly braces so how you can do that uh, pretty simple actually let me simply remove it so uh, integer cubics and now i can simply use curly braces so how i can initiate value using curly braces very simple actually so for example let me simply show you using this i am using another color let's say this and this all right i hope you can understand what i'm gonna show you right now so let's say this is the first row for declaring values we use row by row row wise all right so in the first square bracket i would declare the first row in the second square bracket i would declare the second row and if i had more rows i would declare them using more curly braces all right more curly braces so we will use curly braces like this so let's say for the uh yeah i know that many of you might have this uh, might have this question like why we are using curly braces inside the curly braces because we consider these rows values as a list so we use curly braces to identify it because let's say if you consider only for the single row you can consider it like a 1d array if you consider only this row you can also consider it as a 1d array right so that's how it works so let's say for the first row i have two one two three and for the second row I have something like four, five, six, and I'm simply closing it. And if I simply run this, you see the output one, two, three, four, five, six. And if I also want to print the size, so sorry, two big start length. I 
I don't think you should use this length function directly into DRA because it doesn't specify row and column individually. Let me simply check it out first. Let's say five and let's say nine. So I should have two rows and four columns, but it only shows two. It only shows the row. So don't use this length function into DRA. All right. In the upcoming videos, I will show you how you can identify the rows and columns anyway. So don't worry about that. And don't worry about this code at all because I'm going to provide the code in the description box anyway. Wait, 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 wait a minute. I have forgot to show you about other multidimensional arrays, for example, 3D or 4D arrays. So how you can do that? Let me simply show you in brief. For example, let's say I want an integer array which would be three-dimensional array, 3D. So I have to simply use three square boxes and the rest of them is the same process like earlier. But in reality, we don't work more than 2D arrays. So I'm not going to show you that right now. If you want to follow me, you can do that in GitHub, GitHub, LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. I'll provide all of the link in this video's description box. And thanks for watching.